Good, 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 good evening, everybody. I am Satanga. Welcome to Satanga Streams stuff. And as per request by my good bud Snarbu, I am motivated to take on Run Saber tonight. But you just realized I did not announce on Twitter. Give me a moment. There we go. Alrighty then. So, I don't have much to say. Let's just get right into it in that case. <laughs> Here we go. If there's anyone that chat yet, but I'm gonna get it rolling. Ah, Blur, stay there, Snarboo. How's it going? Now, I might be a little rusty at this one, so I'm going to give myself five lives. We'll see if I need all that. Yeah, it's a genre you think you'd see more of, all things considered. Also, am I too loud, or is the game too quiet? Just let me know how the volume levels are before I get too far. Ah, good audio balance. Sweet. So this here is Run Saber, one of those Atlas games before they became the Shin Megami Tensei Factory. I could definitely see the Genesis influence, yes. Man, Atlas was a weird developer before they had their uh, cash cow figured out. <laughs> You'd never see a game from them like this. Actually, you probably wouldn't even see a game like this period nowadays. Whoops. I like how the run animation is absolutely not different from the walk animation. And yes, our friend Dyer is a fan of this game. Hopefully he'll stop in. Well, that was an easy first boss. I don't like the look of these things. No, I do not. Might be a little overkill, but I'll do it. Oh. Oh, hello. And an extra life to boot. Alright, I'll take it. They can meld with machines. 
Yeah, yeah, they can totally Tetsuo it. Can I be a hot take, Leon, and admit, though, that I'm not the biggest fan of Akira? It certainly has its place in animated history, but... Ah! I don't know. I guess maybe I'm biased, but uh, I much prefer the works of Satoshi Khan. Although... Oh yeah, this plane just totally vaults up and down for no reason other than to demonstrate Mode 7. <laughs> At least so far I can tell. No, sorry, Clade. I got a request to do Run Saber instead, so we're going to be going with that. Maybe I'll do SF2 later, though. If I can't think of anything else to play. Ah, oh, Bastard got right into my blind spot. Well, that could have gone a little better, but... Yes, yeah, Snarb is the one that requested this, so... Alas. I do like these terracotta soldiers, though. Terracotta, ta, ta. Yes, it. Yeah, that's a pretty bonkers level, all things considered. The uh, human eagle. Yeah, that guy especially. Oh yeah, right. That's how these work. You gotta watch out. Good music here, though, I must say. Can I do a slide kick? No. Oh! You press the shoulder buttons. Okay. Oh, no fair. Gosh damn it. Okay, this is starting to get a little stupid. There we go. Dalsim's floating head is a more formidable boss than I care to admit. Or maybe I'm just really bad. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a little out of practice on this one, so... Hey, bonus life. Don't mind if I do. Ah yes, this is Kurtz, the Rogue Saber. Because any good action game has a rival character. Jesus. I'm sucking out loud here, but that's why I gave myself more lives. As far as I know, I'm not sure if Kurtz is actually playable. Yeah, I think he just dreamed it, unfortunately. That would have been pretty neat, though. That's totally right out of Strider there. Huh. 
Uh, oh boy. Fuck! Man, man, oh man, I'm just not doing very good. But I'm almost at the boss, I believe. No, not quite. It might be the easiest boss in the game, and I still took a hit against it. Ugh, man. Oh well. Ah, yes. Okay, here's the... No, not yet. Damn it. Oh, good. Yes, all the health. That sounds good. Alright, here is the boss. As soon as this guy beefs it. There we go. Oh, wow. This simulator's not totally replicating... Uh, the warbly effect here. Also, there's a prototype of this game that had this creepy witch looking more like a beautiful woman, but I like this skeleton uh, version more, as it were. And that became a bit of a war of attrition, but a victory's a victory. Now here comes uh, Sam the Eagle here. There's a severed head. <laughs> Things get a little weird here. I uh, thought there might have been a bonus life up there. So how are you guys doing tonight? Anything of import? Anything of note? No, it does not heal us in between stages. That is very inconsiderate of them. Okay, good. I don't know if that's instant death, but I don't care to find out. Now well, to report here. Ah, Clade's thinking of getting a Vita. I admit, I never really got into the Vita. Uh... My rule is usually not to get a console until it gets ten reasons. Shit. Until there are ten reasons that I want to play it. And, uh, the Vita, unfortunately, never got many reasons for me. But I do hear it is a convenient system and good for emulation. Ah, Ernest Evans, I'm wondering if... I just fought this guy, what the hell? Yeah, Ernest Evans, that would be a game to stream someday. I'm not good at it, though, at all. Like, I just can't grok it exactly. Uh, these bees are fairies. Or both. Eat that boot like Godzilla. Oh, what the? Just came charging at me. Hmm. You could always use more health, all things considered. Oh, is this where it happens? Ah, uh, yes, here comes the Mecha Eagle. This is beyond ridiculous, and I love it.
trying to whomp me with his bionic arm here. I thought I had him figured out, but nope. Better be careful, I'm almost out of lives here. I just bust out a dragon on him. There we go. <sighs> what a weird fucking fight. Oh, wow. That was a giant missile. If I biff it, I don't know if I have to start the entire stage over or what. But I'll see if I can avoid finding out. Yeah, this stage definitely has the uneven stridery structure to its landscapes. In fact, this could be a dead ringer for the Amazon level. Will you get out of here? Oh, fuck you. Kill me before I can even get to the boss. Uh, thankfully, you can continue on the spot, so that's nice. Mode 7! Ow. For fuck's sake! My incredibly floaty jump is doing me no favors here. So, I'm just going to attrition it here. Maybe I'm supposed to buzzsaw up into it. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad idea. That is, in fact, a good idea that I have figured out, and I am a genius for doing so. I may or may not have it stuck in a pattern. This. Oops, I should probably meet that. This giant flesh lump dragon, which I have just melted. <laughs> Gray Fack. Gray Fack, you man. Uh-oh. Now, this game is kind of full of it, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh... Oh, yeah, I can move faster while I'm... That's nice. No, it's not age as well as we would like to believe it has. I guess this takes place in Rome because there's the Colosseum back there. He even think of that since he played FF6. Well, doesn't Chrono Trigger have a lot of Mode 7 in it too? Yep, here I go again. <laughs> Ow! Damn it. Okay, this boss is instantly a huge pain in the ass. Oh, you played six first. Yeah, same here. Wow, what an ass wipe that guy was. Uh oh. Uh. Help. This is bad. This is giving me bad flashbacks to the bloody swamp in, uh, what you call it, um, Kid Chameleon. This part kind of sucks. I don't like it. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Eh, 
I could use that saber extension if you'd be so nice as to grant it. Well, to be fair, Anthology released before Chronicle 2, so... Now, I know my opinions in Chrono Trigger have got me into trouble in the past, but... I do want to set the record straight. I think it's a fantastic RPG and a very well-made game overall. Oh, hey, here's Kurtz again. Ah, uh, they were all out. That makes sense. He's doing the damn, uh, Geese Howard Rapukin wave. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I think Chrome Trigger's great RPG, very well made, fantastic graphics, excellent music, all that's the full package. And yet... It's just a little too well made. <laughs> like, it's lacking that little extra bit of sauce that I favor in my favorite RPGs ever. <laughs> Predictable, indeed. It's a great game, though, one that I would love to replay just because it's been so long. But... I mean, hey, I loved it enough to get all the endings on New Game Plus, so... Oh yeah, this guy. I, I don't think I can hit him. Just run. I do have to admit, I think Chrono Trigger holds up better... Kind of Thunder Force, I can see that. Better than any of the Final Fantasy games. And I do like the Final Fantasy games a lot, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, I can see the Gunstar Heroes in it as well. They're not even really attacking me, just walking around like he's constipated. Oh, here we go. Sick. He's crapping missiles. That boss was actually pretty easy, all things considered. Yeah, I definitely can't argue with FF4, and I still do like FF1 quite a bit. You know, in all the runs I did of FF1, I've never picked a Black Belt or a Red Mage. I always went Fighter, Thief, White Mage, and Black Mage. Despite knowing how crappy the Thief was, I did like the power payoff when he became the Ninja. But... Apparently, Black Bell is better than Thief, simply because he does a lot more damage. And Red Mage is better than White Mage, because White Magic in the original FF apparently isn't all that great. So, yeah, apparently I like making life a lot more difficult for myself. <laughs> Very, very stupid of me. I don't know if anyone would be interested in watching me play Final Fantasy over several days. But, uh... Mm, I don't know, that might be... 
Yeah, White Mage versus Red Mage is a fair debate, and oh my god, this is just not stopping. And now it stopped. Make me look like a fool, why don't you? Huh. Well, Clay, I'll definitely consider it. Ow. Yeah, do a playthrough with the Black Belt and Red Mage instead of the Thief and White Mage. But of course I'm keeping the Fighter and the Black Mage because of course I have to. I wonder if there's any schmo out there who's ever done a non-fighter run. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who has played the original Final Fantasy with all possible combinations of parties. Damn it, I could have used that. Like, there are some people out there crazy enough to do all that. Although, a party of four white mages sounds like a terrible idea. Hey, these things are paying off. Ow. Solo Thief sounds like an awful idea, too, yes. Wow, I had all those dragons saved up and I died. That's a kick in the dick. Eh, not like I needed them. The game is getting very generous with its items. Also, Snarboo, uh... It, it, I was going to say, it looked like I had a bit of meatball pasta here. Ah, Feynman's doing that right now. Of course he is. He who refused to take the regeneration mod in Deus Ex. I still remember that all those years ago. Uh, what can I say? I like a challenge, but I don't like handicapping myself. And there's a clear difference between the two. Okay, he just knows. Yeah, no, that doesn't surprise me. Solo Thief sounds like a terrible idea just on the surface offset. This part seems slightly unfair. Uh-oh, suspicious video game generosity! Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, I actually do have Stranger of Paradise. I've yet to play it, though, because I'm currently playing Tunic. Tunic's a very nice game. Uh, I'm liking it a lot. Excellent goddamn soundtrack, especially. Okay, this thing is starting to tick me off, so... You must pay the penalty. This stage goes full Geiger, and I like that. And now here's the final boss, Dr. Bruford, who instantly killed me when I tried to jump into him. I see. Yeah, Tunic's not easy. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Well, actually, I am sure now. Not to spoil it, but I've reached kind of a plot twist. Or what seems to be one, anyway.
Huh. With flesh and blood, I see. Well, you know more about card games than I do. There we go. Eh, I lost a bit more life to the final boss than I thought, but... Ultimately, not too difficult. Maybe I could have do done this with the default of three lives, after all. And now I have absolutely no idea what this ending means. You try and figure it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's Run Saber. Pretty good for a Strider clone. I wouldn't say it beats the original, but it is a pretty nice and underrated game. I will be right back, however. Let me get a snack. Alrighty then. Alright, so hey, I'm back. How is anybody? Trying to decide what the play next. And honestly, I am not sure. <laughs> yeah, similar action game. I wonder what would fit that niche. Maybe Hagane, although that one is really hard. I'm not sure if I'm up for it tonight. Operation Logic Bomb, that's a good one. I'm 
You know what? Yeah, I think I will go for that. Clay, if there is time, I might get to SF2 later. of numbers and graphs. It is, isn't it? themed bioweapons and what have you. Hey, no worries, Clay. I understand. You take care, man. I'll see you around. And yeah, I can see the Axiom verginess into it as well. I'm trying to remember what the okay, one is. A split shot. a thing leeching on the tower. There's some sort of roll dodge I have, is there? No, it doesn't look like there is. Uh-oh. So yes, this is the obscure NES action game night, I see. Oh, it's a cabinet, you're right. I totally forgot all about that. Thank you. So, Snarboo, uh, what would you think if I were to stream any RPGs or more long-form games? Would that be an interesting idea, or would it be boring as shit? I did feel like giving the original Final Fantasy a playthrough. <laughs> I'll think about it. very Jalico, I must say. It's a boss fight, Charlie Brown. Or a mid-boss at least, I don't know. That's right. It's warping reality or something like that. <laughs> no, 
Not sure if I can destroy these. Doesn't look like I can. Okay, I was supposed to shoot them. Okay, I see. There we go, now it goes back to normal. And we're here. Mm. The bad guys sure like crab robots, don't they? Something, something, giant enemy, crab, blah, blah, blah. They're probably dead. At least this works now, so... Oh, that ain't good. Too many shots than I would like. It would be a little less hasty. Commentary tonight. I feel like I should be more engaging, but uh, I don't know. I'm just focus on the game, and that's all I can say for sure. Damn it! Yeah, pretty much. I miss action games like this. Unpretentious, just straightforward as heck. No dialogue, just blowing shit up. Oh, is there a cabinet I oh, after I blow up the machine, I guess. Right, I could use some map data. There we go. Hey, thanks for the tip, yo. This one. But it doesn't look like I can make use of it. So I just gotta destroy this. Okay, I can't get through. Huh. Bring me this. <laughs> Maybe I need a new weapon to reach that. Let me go back a little more.
<laughs> Did it go back here? Ah. Oh, I see now. Ah, here we go. That's the Iggy we need, yeah. Slightly off center there. It is quite contra esque, yeah. And this game might as well be one of Contra 3's overhead stages, but more fleshed out. For all I know. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, hello. Why, thank you, Senator. I appreciate it. Another cabinet down here. Maybe this is the map. It is. Cool. I remember this game being manageable for the most part, except for the second big boss being a huge pain in the ass. Nothing to do with a lot of hard to avoid misses. Although my memory is rusty, so I guess we'll see exactly what that's about when we get there. Ah, yes. Love the reality warper. That brings us back to Doe. Thankfully, nothing dares assault me while I make a, my way back to the point I couldn't destroy before. There we go. Pretty similar to the other giant enemy crab we fought, though. Well, that was easy. Now what? Go for the spell shot for now. 
uh, get its uh, RoboCop style data recorder. straight back. Oh, nope, this is different. There should be something hidden back there. But there's not. Oh. Yeah, good point. Lots of anti secrets. Yeah, my, f my my own opinion is mixed on secrets. It's like, on one hand, cool they exist, adds a bit more flavor and uh, rewards the curious. On the other hand, I goddamn suck at finding them in every single thing ever, so... <laughs> I guess I'm just very unga in my approach to video games. I could definitely use that. These guys seem incapable of shooting diagonally, so take advantage of that most certainly. Now what do I do with these things? Sorry, one moment. I need the flamethrower for this one. 
And that one too, I guess. And that sort of adds up. I appreciate not wasting more time than I have to. there. Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed those then. Oh well. Oops! Uh, let me just fast forward. <laughs> oh, that was a bit of a mistake. Okay. Here is the flamethrower in question. Nice. Can I soon get there? Okay. went in a circle. Great. Alrighty, see you in a bit.
Uh, you did miss me taking on the giant crab boss, yes. It didn't go so hot. I beat it, but I took a lot of damage. Bleh. So I gotta play real lawyer ball on the cliffside here. There we go. It kind of is, but I'm PR PR. I'm almost dead.
Oh, thank God. <sighs> They've cheated the Reaper for the time being. Yes, I am quiet tonight. Uh, yeah, these are great games. I'm just a little out of it. No reason. It is what it is. How's it going? Oh yes, I have uh, made a fair chunk of the way, I believe. Um, yeah, also not shabby. This man, I just want to sick with the flamethrower 100% if I could. <laughs> it's just so powerful. I need another weapon to reach this. Okay then, very unsuspicious. I know. They'll probably need something else to get to it. Oh my god, JC, a bomb! A bomb. <laughs> Too easy, I know. See if up here is favorable. Yes, the Habam from uh, Red Zone. Oh, wouldn't that be a fun game to stream? I'd lose within five minutes. <sighs> That's a game I want to like, but my god, it's just too crushingly difficult for its own good. Hey, wait a minute, wasn't I just here? Yeah, pretty sure I was. Uh, hang on. Okay. So, logically, this leads somewhere else, okay. There we go. 
<laughs> they did. Unless they need the range of the default machine gun, there's almost no reason to use anything else. I'm fine with having a busted weapon, though, don't get me wrong. Oh, hello. Ah, it's the Hollow Duel. You see. Might as well test it out. Pretty well, all things considered. Might, uh, I go there or here? Oh, there. Okay. And roast that. So we hit that then. Uh, it's a dead end, Charlie Brown. I think this is the only game called Operation Logic Bomb, but I think this game is itself related to... Jalico's fortified zone on the Game Boy. At least I think it is. There are some structural similarities that they have. Also known as Ikari no Yusai, which got a sequel in Japan, but didn't reach over here, unfortunately. It's a claymore, Charlie Brown. Interesting that you don't get the abilities for the Y button for a long time. We did, yeah, yeah. All the way back when. Ah, here we go. Dang it. 
crap. Even the slightest hit feels like an up to do that. That. Oh shit. Those yellow robots are fragile, but they can really take it out of you if they're not careful. Oh no. Oh god, here it is. This is the crap part. Oh boy, sure I'm losing a lot of energy already. I hate this boss, Charlie Brown! In fact... I'm just gonna... Yeah. Jesus. Okay, uh... The fact that it's immune to the flamethrower really blows. God. Okay, I need to use the claymores. Gotcha. This is easily the hardest part of the game. Sorry. Oh yeah, it definitely does work better. I already did plop a safe state, but yes. Oh my god! Wow! The mines did really good! Thanks for the tip, man! <laughs> wow! Holy Jesus! I think I might have missed the map earlier, but not that I need it. Uh, I believe I'm near the end of the game anyway. And I think I need to use the mines against this bastard too. They know how good the flamethrower is, so now they're nerfing it. Bastards. Oh, hello! Looks like I can crawl into Cybo space now.
I don't even know what we call this dimension. The hex dimension? That sounds kind of cliche. Now the very definitely final boss. I'll just plop that there. Hex, yes, exactly. Oh, it sure did take a lot of damage. Oh dear. Luckily, we have one more continue. But I got a safe state to go back to in case we need it. Oh, dude, not a bad idea. It doesn't fool his bullshit lightning, I'm afraid. But it does keep the small blobs off my backs. Off my back. There we go! Maybe a little easy for the final boss, but... Mission accomplished, I believe. Yeah, it has a lot of momentum going and then just kind of ends a little bit abruptly. Bit of a shame on that. Yes, we have defeated the spread of cyberspace, and uh, we have bombed all the logic. So yeah, this sure was a Jalico game. <laughs> Good old Japanese Leisure Company. Indeed, it was indeed a jail code game. Huh.
Mm. Hey, I wish I had more to say, but I was very nonverbal. Then again, this is a pretty quiet night overall. I only had you and Clay stop in. I guess Run Saber doesn't exactly get the fan flock uh, a rolling. <laughs> But nah, I really enjoy playing that game, so it's all cool. Yeah, it has, but uh, I was thinking of actually just cutting it here, actually. Uh, if that's cool with you. I don't know, this just feels like a good place to end here. These credits are going on very long. Boy, howdy. I don't know why these credits feel like they're going on for so long. <laughs> check though if this is one of those games that resets at the end or not. Run Saber was. Let me just hit fast forward and see if this thing goes back to the title screen. Unfortunately, Snarvu, it doesn't seem like this one goes back to the title screen. <laughs> I know that is a peeve of yours. Alas. <laughs> yep. Too bad. Ah well. Still a good game overall. Alright, so. Tonight's stream was Run Saber and Operation Logic Bomb. I certainly had fun. I hope you did too. But yeah, it's a bit of a quiet night, so I think I'm just gonna slip on out here for now. Uh, thank you very much. I am Sotenga. This was Sotenga Stream Stuff. I may or may not be back tomorrow. I really should get on Street Fighter 2 next time. I sort of semi-promised it last stream, and, uh, I didn't deliver, so... Yeah, we'll do that next time. Sounds good to me. Alright, you all take care, have a good night, and I will see you later, then. <laughs>